Hi, welcome back. I uh, haven't done an update on the renovation in about eight and a half months, so I thought I'd do a quick video and show you where we're at with the, with the old farmhouse here. So you can see since the last video, we've got the roof on and the windows and doors are in on the new piece. And you see over here, we took out that bow window, which was in very bad repair. And we've got the old house stripped right back down to the original boards. So we got a little temporary step on here for now. Just a freestanding thing. There's going to be a deck actually go right along the full full piece and open deck on this side and of course the roofed-in deck on the other side. We'll just do a little walk around the house here. So there were two old window openings in this old rock wall. Um, they may or may not have had windows in them at one time, I'm not sure. Uh, but they were just openings that were just covered over uh, with some plywood and some insulation inside. So. Um, Cousin has come over and he's formed these all in and poured them full again and he's gone around and grouted the wall The old stone wall all the way around so it's a little dirty there now with the water splashed up on it But that made a, a nice difference in the in the foundation All right here on the front side same thing we got all the side the old uh, Siding off there was vinyl and there was some old uh, Masonite siding on it and some of the old original boards all that's left to tear off now is a little bit of stuff around the entrance Which we'll get to when we get moved around there uh, Got all the windows out of the old house now and they're all changed over to new ones and the doors are changed and uh, We're renailing the old outside boards I took it right down to the board so we could make sure everything was good and I wanted to renail these boards up and work from a nice flat surface so uh, There were some really nice wide boards in there But some of those big wide boards only have two or three common nails in them So they're not held on very good. So we draw them in with an air nailer and some three inch coil nails which uh, is making it a nice flat surface to work on. On this side of the house, we've added a window. You can see where the old windows used to be um, years and years ago. And they're sheathed over this one fairly poorly. I've got to pull that piece of plywood off and put some one inch boards back on that. And I've got those sitting out front to fix up. So we've got some nails to pull on this side of the house, obviously. But again, we're right back to the original boards. And we need to put this window in because there's a bedroom there now. It used to be a living room, but with its bedroom, you need an egress window. And up in the other part of the new piece, we got the doors and windows in there. And again, there'll be a covered deck on this piece. And this is all going to have two inch foam put around the outside before we put on the siding, so it'll be much warmer than it was before. All right, so now we're inside of the new addition. Um, so this is going to be the driveways over here. So and here's going to be a kitchen, dining room over here, and then the living room is going to be over here. And there's lots of materials laying around in here because we're right into the swing of things now. We've got a nice cathedral ceiling, which is all going to be done in V-match pine. And we just have to block in and insulate the gable up in here. So looking back into the old part, got most of the petitions done on one side and the rough wiring done on this part of the house. And there's going to be a bedroom. This is a bedroom out in the front. There's another bedroom here and this is a bathroom in here. So we've got the fixtures all picked out and we just have to get those in here now. So going into the old part of the house, uh, we're just waiting actually to get the a tub shower put in this door right here before we block off this wider opening and then once that's done there'll be a three foot doorway framed in here there'll be a hallway going right straight through to the front door and of course the staircase will be just on this side of the door going up you can see the opening in the floor joists there and then along this side of the wall it's just right it used to be split the living room used to be kind of cut in half or not in half but it was a chunk of the living room on one side of the walkway and so we're going to petition across the face of this all the way underneath the staircase so there'll be a little washer and dryer built a washer and dryer will be built in here with some storage storage beside it place for a deep freeze beside that and then of course there'll be a little blocked off place where the panel is and the entrance to go to the basement under the stairs so we know that we had to put into this bedroom and you can see that we built the walls all out uh, with two inch uh, rip to the right width to make it the same as a two by six walls for insulation purposes we're going to do that in the whole house. 
All right, so now we're upstairs. You can see the old windows that used to be in the house are all boarded over. They're going to be a, they're going to be sheathed right in. Uh, so the staircase is here. I'm at the other end of the staircase. So the stairs will actually be coming up this way to a landing right there. Uh, there'll be a big walk-in closet in this corner and a bathroom in this corner. And the rest of this will be bedroom. And I've got a couple pictures I can show you. This upstairs floor, there was a bathroom. It used to be right here. So there was lots of holes in the floor and vents and different things over the years. So this is after I've actually fixed, uh, there's, you see there's almost three full sheets of plywood in the middle and there's still a couple holes there. So wherever they had a pipe going down through or where the old partitions were was a void. And so I re-plywooded the floor where it was openings and it had seven eighths inch tongue and groove uh, on the floor. Mostly was good except for where it was all cut up where there were fixtures and things going in. So we shimmed that up flat and we screwed down and glued some plywood to fix the places that were bent. We got the underlay now, we got some Mirandi on top of it. So it's a it's a really nice floor. Now this isn't all nailed down yet. This this isn't all stapled to Mirandi, just the joints. But it uh, turned out really well. This floor is actually surprisingly level, which I'm happy about. But all the petitions that we put in down below are all load bearing. So we haven't done any wiring up here yet. Uh, but this is kind of, on, in, for as far as inside goes, this is what we're going to hit next. So hopefully the next time we bring you back, we've got some insulation in the walls and we're ready for drywall and hopefully we'll have some siding on the outside. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.